Art. No, you're good. All right, everyone, we have DJ Uyunglele ready for questions. Please go ahead. Hey, uh, hey DJ. Sure. Hey, Chris Iden from Hermiton Radio in Baltimore. Uh, just talk about playing in a primetime game in a great stadium like uh, Notre Dame Stadium. And uh, I know you guys it didn't come out the best outcome, but just talk about your performance. Uh, it was definitely super cool playing at Notre Dame. Uh, great atmosphere, great fan base, uh, great history. A really good team to play today. Uh, I feel like a uh, lot of play okay. Uh, not, uh, uh, it's not enough to get it done. DJ, this is Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, you were so good last week on third down, um, especially several third and longs. Um, I think you were nine for 10 on third, third and long last week, but um, it really struggled today. Five of 14 on third down, two of six on third and short. Why, what do you think made it so difficult for you? Um, is, it, is it just that Notre Dame's defense is, is that good? Uh, no, Notre Dame yeah, definitely had a really good defense. Uh, really great defense, really, really good things, third down. Uh, felt, like, felt like I could have done a lot better today. They, just, they, they played a great game today. DJ, DJ, this is Matt this with Dennis this. Todd from CBS Sports. Um, I, I, when you guys scored to finally take the lead, there at three and a half minutes left. How how good did you feel about that? You'd come from behind all day. Did you think there was time left on the clock for them, or how confident did you feel about making it stand up? I mean, you always play uh, you play the game to the to the, the last whistle's done. So I mean, even though we're up, you know, there's always a chance like, uh, to come back like what happened. But I mean, you just keep playing the game until like, so the clock hits zero. DJ, this is Matt uh, with the state. Can you take me through just that last drive in the, in the second overtime, um, just from your perspective, what went wrong on that, that series? Uh, you're talking about the same drive in overtime? Yes, sir. Uh, um, I think I took, I took a sack in the red zone. I think that's one big thing. Uh, I can't do that. Uh, and then after that, uh, it's just, I mean, we just, uh, I just didn't execute what I needed to do. So like, Any other questions for DJ? DJ, it's Trevor again. How, how did you feel just about your overall accuracy tonight? Uh, I, feel like was, I feel like it was good for some parts. Um, I mean, I don't know what I threw for, but there's definitely those that I missed out there that uh, I should have made. But, I mean, it is what it is. Can't go back now. So, we just got to move on. We just got to go watch them. We just learn from the mistakes. DJ, from your perspective, uh, what did you see in the running game and uh, what was difficult about really getting that going throughout the game tonight? Uh, I mean, Notre Dame, I mean, hats off to them. They have a really great defense. Uh, they had a really good scheme coming into the game and they just did a really good job uh, stopping on. Uh, so they just did a good job. I don't know, they just played a really good, really good defense. Hats off to them. DJ, it's Trevor again. Um, you, you didn't have the benefit of, of having Trevor on the sideline last week in your first start, uh, but you had him there tonight. What, just, what, what, how, how, what was it like having him on the sideline, um, uh, just coaching you up and, and giving you advice? I mean, it's always great having Trevor on the sideline, you know. Love that man. I mean, he's good being the number one pick in his He just has so much knowledge to work. He just help me out each and every play. Uh, just tell me different stuff like that. He's been through it. I mean, be a pro, so I mean, it's just great having him on the sideline. Any other questions for DJ? All right, with that, thank you, DJ. Thanks, DJ.